Hello everybody, I'm just looking at my list of signs that I still need to do for the month of January 2019. Welcome to my channel and I'm about to do the reading for Libra for the month of January and I apologize to those who have <clears throat> listened to some of the videos I posted yesterday. I accidentally uh, I posted a video and said the wrong sign at like two minutes or something and I didn't mean to even though I was reading for a different sign so I'll be more uh, aware of that it's when you do these in order sometimes you get the names messed up even though you're reading for it so we're doing it for Libra for the month of January I'm gonna do a quick reading uh, mini reading for Jan um, for Libra for January and I'm gonna pull a few cards out of the cosmic deck and then for the February readings, just an FYI, when you come back to my channel, or if you get the notification bell and it lets you know when I upload them, if you haven't done that already, go do that. Um, I'm going to probably introduce some more of my decks, because I have several decks that uh, I want to use for February. So, Alright, let's do this for Libra for January. Let's see what's going on. So I have somebody who's going to be taking a trip in January for work. I have someone who has a magical, meaning they're either pagan, Wiccan, or someone who is very much into the alchemist part of their life, like I am, into crystals, into uh, oils, Reiki maybe, chakras, magic stuff. Yeah, this person's definitely similar to me, so I want to say pagan. I also want to say this person is single um a libra that's single who in the last three years has ended a relationship that wasn't healthy for them and this person tends to spirit is showing me that this person that i'm referring to this libra is very much like i was in my relationships where we give our all to the person when maybe they don't necessarily deserve that. I hope that makes sense. There's a strong female figure in your life that has been friends with you for 20 plus years that has been the rock in your life. You may not always see each other or talk all the time, but this person is very caring and loving and will continue to be in your life. And she gives you, or the female energy gives you a great advice when it comes to life altering things that maybe you need advice on so uh yeah this person is very strong in your life especially when you went through a dark time i want to say probably within six months after you ended your last relationship you had a really really hard time and she was there for you um and uh helped you see see yourself through it there's a male energy in your life i want to say Maybe a cousin or a friend who just recently lost a parent. And you had to be that person who kind of pulled him off the cliff because he was drinking or doing drugs or something to deal with the, to deal with the uh, grief of that situation. just telling me to make sure you take care of yourself both body and soul and that <clears throat> the right person <clears throat> the right person is uh, going to be appearing in your life within the next year within about the next year to 16 months I see and you're not going to realize it right away because they're definitely not the normal type that you have gone for in the past which obviously if none of your relationships before worked out then maybe you need a change <clears throat> make sure that when you meet someone that you go with your first instinct. That's what spirit's telling me. Whether it's a friend or a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Listen to your instincts.
It has to be the right timing. That's why I'm saying that. Do not get depressed because other people your age are getting married or engaged or in relationships and you're not. We are not all made to be the same. That's just society's crap. I also feel like <clears throat> whoever this person is I'm reading for, I want to pull this up. Whoever I'm reading for, Libra, you need to meditate more. Or get out in nature more and ground yourself or take care of yourself eat healthier get out of the house a little more get in the fresh air take vitamin D something to that effect because you've noticed lately that you're a little lethargic so that's really important the last deck I'm gonna use is this to ask questions in regards to spirit and what your reading was Libra so right now I'm just gonna see if it gives me any clarity when it has to do with this month of January. All right, let's see. January 2019. Yeah, you have you you have so many ancestors around you like I do guiding you, the elders. You need to, you really, really need to touch base with your self, meaning meditation, prayer, whatever it is. You have to take care of yourself because that's when you're at your best and that's when you're going to attract this person. So continue if you haven't already done that. And please, 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 please. Take care of your health. It seems like sometimes you get in these ruts where you, um, which a lot of us do this, where you um, let things get to you a little easier than most, and then you don't, and then you don't um, eat as healthy. Um, you stop going to the gym. You stop doing things that make you feel better. So I do that as well all the time. I'm the first one to admit it where I get in these moods where I just eat like crap and I stop going to the gym or stop exercising and that's not good for you either. So I'm pulling one last card for you and this is you. This is whoever I'm reading for. Have courage to change. Have courage to look in the mirror at yourself and to truly see what's going on in your soul in order to bring the things you want in life to you. I do hope this has been a good reading for you, Libra, for the month of January. I hope that you will hit the like button and comment below, and I hope you'll come back to the channel when I post February's readings. Thank you and have a great night.